All right, Professor Klein here bringing you a quick video on the bony landmarks of the scapula. So let's dive in. On a skeleton, this is what we would be looking at from a posterior view. All right, here is the scapula laid out on the table. And this would be a posterior view here, posterior view. And some of the quick things we wanna go through are things like the inferior angle. Inferior angle is this angle at the bottom of the scapula. There's also a superior angle up top here, superior angle. Most prominently is the spine of the scapula or scapular spine travels up. You can palpate that on yourself and that will extend and end in something called the acromion process. This is the acromion process right here. It is the most lateral process of the entire scapula. Just inferior to that, we have the glenoid cavity. Glenoid cavity is where the humerus would attach with the supraglenoid tubercle and the infraglenoid tubercle being these top two bony parts or one on the top, one on the bottom. Then we've got things like the lateral border. Lateral border, this is most lateral. And then this would be the medial border. Medial border. Last two things to mention are the fossas. So we have the infraspinous fossa, infraspinous fossa. That's where the infraspinatus muscle would attach. And also up here, the supraspinous fossa. Supraspinous fossa, you guessed it, that is where the supraspinatus muscle would originate. All right, let's flip it to an anterior view, anterior view. Now with this view, we can still see things like the medial border, medial border, and the lateral border right here as well as that inferior angle way at the bottom and the superior angle way at the top. Now don't be confused, there's another bean-shaped bump right here. This is your coracoid process, coracoid process. Nice attachment for a lot of muscles in the body. It is different from the acromion process, which we can now see from an anterior view, acromion process and that glenoid cavity where the humerus would sit. We've also got the subscapular fossa. Subscapular fossa has the subscapularis muscle that attaches to this part. And one more to mention here, if this is the superior angle, notice how it comes in and it forms this little notch. This is called your scapular notch, this little part in the scapula. So if we've got a medial border and a lateral border, we also have a superior border, which is in between the superior angle and that scapular notch right here. So this would be the superior border. And this has been your quick video on the scapula.